Hello there, welcome to Disney Parks Addict. Today, we will share our guide for all of the eight hotels at the Universal Orlando Resort. At the end of the video, we will show a side-by-side -side comparison of all the costs and benefits of all these wonderful resorts. Let's start with the newest offering, Universal's Endless Summer Resort. This value resort actually consists of two different hotels, Dockside and Surfside. The Dockside Inn and Suites opened in 2020 and offers affordable rooms in a cool coastal retreat setting. You can choose from a standard room for up to four adults or a two bedroom suite that sleeps up to six. The expansive lobby area is bright and colorful and has plenty of seating and areas to explore. Just off from the lobby, you can find the main dining location, Pier 8 Market. Open for breakfast, lunch and dinner, you will have plenty of choice from their five unique stations in this casual food court setting. There is also a variety of grab-and-go items for those that are in a hurry. This is a great affordable dining option with no item on the menu being more than $12. Also, in the lobby area, you can grab a coffee or a snack from their on-site Starbucks location. Or, if you're looking for a cocktail or beer, you can head to the Sunset Lounge for a cool and convenient place to unwind. A Universal Hotel wouldn't be a Universal Hotel without a Universal Studio store, which can also be found in the lobby. There are plenty of toys, teas, and other classic merchandise for you to take a look at and purchase before the end of your vacation. There are some great amenities at the dockside, including a state-of-the-art fitness center for the gym heads that can't skip a day, a game room filled with lots of arcade and video games, but the highlight are definitely the amenities located outside. There are two large pools to choose from, as well as a splash zone, play area, and sandy beaches for the kids to enjoy. There are plenty of sunbeds to go around, and you can even enjoy your favorite drink at the Oasis Beach Bar, where you can find cocktails, frozen drinks, wine, beer, smoothies, and more. The Dockside Inn and Suites is a nice little resort and great value for money, and is perfect for couples and families traveling on a budget. We now go from Dockside to Surfside, the other hotel in Universal's Endless Summer Resort, which opened a year earlier in 2019. The Surfside Inn & Suites is very similar to Dockside, albeit on a much smaller scale. It has more of a Southern California and surf vibe which can be experienced throughout the hotel. The lobby also features a Starbucks location for your caffeine needs, as well as a Universal Studios store for all the cool merch you forgot to buy in the park. Just off from the lobby is the Beach Break Cafe, offering Southern California flavors made with fresh ingredients. This casual food court offers dishes like breakfast burritos, roasted chicken, power bowls, pizzas, and burgers throughout the whole day, so you'll never go hungry. The amenities are similar to Dockside. They have the complimentary fitness center and game room for the kids. They have a nice surfboard shaped pool with plenty of sunbeds for you to relax throughout the day. And if you want to grab a drink, you can head to the sand bar and choose from a wide variety of cocktails, beers, wines, and other beverages. Both hotels offer poolside activities like hula hoop contests, bingo, and other fun family activities. Just check with the front desk to see the activity itinerary during your stay. At Surfside, you can also choose from a standard room that sleeps four or a two bedroom suite for up to six. This is another great value hotel that is perfect for guests looking to stay somewhere cheap but also want to enjoy the universal atmosphere. Both the hotels at the Endless Summer Resort offer free transport to Universal Studios, Islands of Adventure, Volcano Bay, and Universal City Walk. The shuttle only takes 5 to 10 minutes and run every 15 minutes, so you shouldn't have to wait too long. I really enjoy the Endless Summer Resort, but for me, the dockside just comes out on top due to the extra pool and other added amenities. We now move on to the prime value resorts, which are all located within walking distance of Volcano Bay, Universal Orlando Resorts Water Park. First up is Universal's Aventura Hotel, which opened in 2018. This modern hotel offers great views of all three Universal Orlando theme parks. The lobby is very sleek and stylish, with a huge open space, which is very vibrant and calming. And as this is a tower hotel, most of the dining and shopping locations are situated 
situated within the lobby area or nearby. Rooms are available as standard or deluxe with the option to upgrade to a skyline view that gives them awesome views of the whole Universal Orlando Resort. You can choose from two queen beds that sleep up to four or for a party of two you can choose a king bed which gives a little extra space in the room. If you're a party of five there are some kid suites available that has a king bed, a sofa bed and a separate area with two twin beds. All rooms come with great amenities like free Wi-Fi, a coffee maker, a mini fridge, a TV and many more. Bar Ventura is the lobby bar offering a nice selection of beers, wines and cocktails in the contemporary setting and offers the chance to relax in an open and comfortable environment. Similar to all the other resorts, there is a Starbucks on location offering all the usual caffeine fixes and baked snacks. The largest dining location is the Urban Pantry, a huge food hall offering a nice variety of cuisines. You can choose from a rotating selection of international flavors at the Roast Kitchen grab a burger or pizza made fresh right in front of you or have a custom wok dish or sushi roll at the Asian station. This is open all day so it's great for an early breakfast or a late dinner before and after your day at the parks. Bar 17 Bistro is the final dining option and is located on the rooftop of the hotel, which includes those breathtaking views of all of the Universal Orlando Resort. They offer some tasty appetizers, salads, bao buns and classic entrees like steak, salmon and burgers. You can pair the different dishes with a custom crafted cocktail, beer, wine or a selection of soft drinks. Again, you can also find the Universal Studio Store back down in the lobby area. The Aventura Hotel has a really nice relaxing pool area that includes a splash pad for the younger guests, a hot tub and a nice sized pool. You can grab some refreshments from the pool bar, Bar Soul, that includes frozen cocktails and a host of other beverages. In the evenings, you can relax around the fire pit as you plan your next day in the parks. There is also a complimentary state-of-the-art fitness center. Overall, Universal's Aventura Hotel is a great place to stay that includes some great benefits and good value all within a nice clean modern aesthetic. Opposite the Aventura is the other prime value hotel, Universal's Cabana Bay Beach Resort. This is the largest resort on property offering over 2,200 rooms and it is themed as a classic Florida beach resort from the 1950s and 60s. The huge lobby area is beautifully designed in a retro style that continues throughout the rooms and the rest of the resort. The resort is split into two areas. The Cabana Courtyard has three wings, Castaway, Thunderbird and Starlight which all overlook the amazing features within the courtyard area. On the other side is the Lazy River Courtyard that has two wings, the Continental and the Americana which also look down onto a different beautiful pool area as well as giving amazing views of Volcano Bay and other areas of the Universal Orlando Resort. The rooms and suites all keep the amazing retro theme with a variety of choices. The standard room sleeps up to four with two queen beds which can also be upgraded for a poolside or a Volcano Bay view. The family suites include a kitchenette that contains a microwave and an extra sink for some light cooking and a deluxe pull-out sofa which allows the room to sleep up to six. All rooms and suites come with a mini fridge, flat screen TV, coffee maker and all the usual amenities. There is a great choice of dining locations starting with the Bayliner Diner. This is a food court offering various stations that serve pizzas, salads, burgers and deli items. There are plenty of grab and go choices as well as a selection of desserts and drinks. So there is something for everyone to enjoy. In the lobby area, you can find the Swizzle Lounge with a refreshing selection of cocktails and light snacks as well as a Starbucks for coffee and baked goods. On the second floor is the Galaxy Bowl restaurant where not only can you indulge in American favorites like made to order sandwiches, pizzas, burgers and chicken wings, you can also bowl a few rounds at the on-site retro bowling alley. There are also two pool bars that serve food. On the Cabana Courtyard pool deck is the Atomic Tonic Bar and Grill, serving delicious sandwiches, wraps, salads, and doner kebabs, along with cold beer, wine, specialty cocktails, and non-alcoholic beverages. In the Lazy River Courtyard, you'll be able to find the Hideaway Bar and Grill that also serves sandwiches and burgers, along with fish tacos, nachos, and hot dogs, with a great selection of refreshing drinks. You will also be able to order room service from Delizio Pizza that offers a 
selection of salads and desserts, and of course, pizza. Cabana Bay Beach Resort also comes with great pools and activities. In the Cabana Courtyard, there is a huge pool, a dive tower themed water slide, shaded picnic tables, and a large fire pit, which is perfect for making s'mores in the evening. You will also be able to rent a private cabana, which is a nice poolside retreat offering a TV, tables and chairs, two lounge chairs, a mini fridge, a personal safe, and an in-house telephone, which gives you the ability to order food from Delizio Pizza. As the cabanas are limited, I would suggest making a reservation when checking into the hotel. The Lazy River Courtyard is home to another large swimming pool that features a winding lazy river, which is perfect for relaxing and floating around this beautiful resort. There is also a sandy beach, two fire pits, and plenty of outdoor seating and lounge chairs. On the second floor of the lobby area, along with Galaxy Bowl, you will also be able to find Gamerama, an arcade that has a great mix of modern and classic arcade games, and the Jack LaLanne Physical Fitness Studio, the huge complimentary gym. In the lobby area, you will also find the Universal Studio store, offering towels, teas, toys, and exclusive hotel merchandise. Both the Aventura Hotel and the Cabana Bay Beach Resort offer free shuttle buses to Universal City Walk and the three parks, but it is also possible to walk, which will take about 15 to 20 minutes to Universal Studios Florida and Islands of Adventure and about 5 minutes to Volcano Bay. With the amazing retro theming, awesome activities and an affordable price, Cabana Bay Beach Resort is a great choice and is a perfect resort for young families. We now move on to the Low Sapphire Falls Resort, which is Universal Orlando's only hotel in their preferred category. You will be whisked away to an island escape in this Caribbean paradise with waterfalls, beaches, and plenty of other island themed settings. The huge open and bright lobby area has a nice color palette and a special beach ball chandelier to get you ready for your unforgettable adventure. In the lobby, along with all the usual guest services, you'll be able to find some great merchandise, including some hotel exclusives in the Universal Studios store. For coffees, craft sandwiches, pastries, and other delicious goods, you can head to the New Dutch Trading Co., a delightful port shop close to the lobby. Also nearby is the Strong Water Tavern, a bar specializing in rum, with over a hundred different choices. Let the specialists curate a special rum Caribbean adventure as you relax in a cool and stylish atmosphere. They also offer an amazing menu of different tapas style dishes. On select evenings, they also host a special rum dinner that includes a five course meal paired with crafted rums distilled in the Caribbean, as well as other samplings and some live entertainment. The largest dining location is the Amatista Cookhouse, a table service restaurant that features an exhibition kitchen cooking up Caribbean inspired cuisine for every island appetite in a coastal chic setting. The final place to grab some food is the Drum Club Canteen, the poolside bar and grill that offers fresh seafood, burgers, and other amazing menu items, as well as some taste-tempting tropical drinks. One of the main features of the resort is the amazing outside pool that comes complete with a water slide, beach areas, hot tubs, fire pits, and more. This is the largest pool at any of the Universal Resorts with plenty of seating and sun lounges, as well as some private cabanas available for rent. There is lots of places for you to relax and enjoy the Florida sun. On the second level of the lobby building is something for everyone. For the younger guests, the Calypso Game Room has a great selection of classic and current video games as well as some claw machines to try and win some universal merchandise. And opposite is the Kalina Health and Fitness Center that has all the usual cardio machines and weight equipment as well as locker rooms with showers and a dry sauna. They also have some ballrooms, pavilions, and meeting spaces that is perfect to host events of various sizes, including weddings, parties, and conferences. Low Sapphire Falls Resort offer a wide choice of rooms and suites, ranging from standard rooms all the way up to presidential suites. And sticking with the hotel's theme, they are all decorated with a beautiful Caribbean aesthetic and come with all the usual amenities like a TV, coffee machine, mini fridge, and many more. 
you will have three choices to get to the parks. You can either hop on the shuttle bus, take a nice stroll along the winding walkways all the way to Universal City Walk, or you can arrive in style with a complimentary water taxi that is able to take you directly to and from the parks. This resort is perfect for visitors that like a relaxing getaway with easy access to the parks. The final three resorts are all premier hotels and come with a huge added benefit of free Universal Express unlimited passes for everyone staying in your room. This allows you to skip regular lines at Universal Studios Florida and Universal's Islands of Adventure. First up is Lowe's Royal Pacific Resort, which has a Polynesian theme, but also includes elements of other nations in Pan-Asia, including Bali, Thailand, and Japan. As you cross the hotel entrance bridge, you will truly get a feel of the resort with the beautiful landscaping and lagoon area. The unique lobby has authentic high wooden ceilings that surround an outdoor courtyard pond with plenty of hand-carved wooden and stone statues and other amazing art work along with all the usual check-in, universal holiday planning and other guest services. Near to the main entrance of the lobby area is Toko Gifts which is the hotel's standard Universal Studios store that also includes hotel exclusive merchandise, snacks and other sundries. Also in the lobby area is the Orchid Court Lounge and Sushi Bar that features a vibrant menu of inventive sushi, sashimi, salads and appetizers along with Japanese whiskies, sake and beer. The Tuk Tuk Market offers coffee, breakfast items, pastries, plus hot and cold sandwiches, wok bowls, sushi to go, ice cream and gelato. Grab a bite and relax in their seating area overlooking the Luau Pavilion. Downstairs from the lobby area are two other dining locations. Jake's American Bar is a full-service bar that pays homage to the fabled South Seas explorer Jake McNally, whose seaplane floats in the lagoon. Toast his adventures with cocktails, appetizers, burgers, flatbreads, and other select entrees. They also host special events throughout the year, including beer festivals and a beer pair dining experience. The other restaurant is the Polynesian-inspired Islands Dining Room that serves a nice variety of Pan-Asian cuisine. On weekends, you can join the Wok Experience, which is an all-you-care-to-eat meal where you can create different stir-fry bowls as well as enjoying their soup and salad bars. The final dining location on property is the Bula Bar and Grill. This is a casual poolside eatery that offers food and beverages with a tropical flair. From fruity cocktails to fish tacos and Kona burgers, there is something for everyone to enjoy. While we're at the poolside, you won't be able to miss the huge lagoon-style swimming pool, surrounded by luscious white sandy beaches and palm trees. You'll also be able to find hot tubs, a beach volleyball court, and the impressive Royal Bali Sea interactive water play area for the younger guests. For a nice shady retreat, you can rent a private cabana complete with plenty of refreshing amenities. Other facilities include a full-size gymnasium with all the usual workout equipment, as well as a whirlpool, a sauna, and steam room, plus locker rooms and lounges. You can also have a game of croquet on the purpose-built croquet lawn. Just contact Concierge to arrange the loaning of the equipment. Close to the pool, you'll also find the hotel's game room, filled with plenty of fun arcade activities for guests of all ages. Nearby is Treasures of Bali, another shopping location where you can find swimsuits, Hawaiian shirts, hats, grass skirts, jewelry, beach towels, and universal apparel, as well as candy, soft drinks, snack food, imported gifts, and other souvenirs. Other unique experiences include the torch lighting ceremony and the luau, which are currently unavailable, but will hopefully be returning later in the year. Similar to the Sapphire Falls Resort, the Royal Pacific Resort also has some ballrooms, pavilions, and meeting spaces that is perfect to host events of various sizes, including weddings, parties, and conferences. You will also have the choice of walking, taking the bus, or a water taxi straight to the parks. Along with offering standard rooms with garden or water views, they also have a selection of club level rooms that have the additional perks of a personal concierge service and access to the private Royal Club Lounge that offers a complimentary continental breakfast, evening beer and wine, and more. If you like sleeping in style, there is also a choice of suites that offer more space, amenities, and comfort. 
If you're a fan of the Jurassic World franchise, you will love the Jurassic Kids Suite that has very special theming that will please even the casual fan. As the cheapest of all the premier hotels, this is the perfect place for guests looking to utilize the added benefit of the free express passes at a cheaper price while also enjoying this luxury resort. The next establishment needs no introduction. It is of course the Hard Rock Hotel. Inspired by American classic rock music, this resort is designed in a California mission style. If you have ever visited any of the 185 hard rock cafes around the world, then you know they specialize in American cuisine and showcasing rock and roll memorabilia. And this is no different at the Hard Rock Hotel, which actually turns the dial up to 11 with other extra special musical theming and activities. The lobby area has a very sleek but comfortable style that is filled with lots of remarkable mementos that were either played or worn by famous musicians like Paul McCartney, John Bon Jovi and Lady Gaga. Along with the usual guest services, you will also be able to find the Velvet Bar, the Palm Restaurant and the Rock Shop. The Velvet Bar is the cool stylish lobby bar that has a wide variety of cocktails, wines and beers that also serves lunch and small bites in the evening like salads, flatbreads, sandwiches and sharing boards. The Palm is the famous New York steakhouse and is the place to find a superb meal in an uptown atmosphere, featuring an Italian-inspired menu of world-renowned steaks, massive lobsters, and much more. In the Rock Shop, you'll be able to find all the amazing Hard Rock merchandise from clothing, bedding, and plenty of other souvenirs. You'll also be able to choose from lots of other stylish clothing brands that would even please the most fashionable rock stars. There are more dining locations downstairs on the ground level of the lobby building. First is Emac and Bolio's Marketplace, where you can stop in for Boston's legendary Emac and Bolio's ice cream, plus plenty of grab-and-go breakfast, lunch, and snack items. The marketplace also serves Starbucks coffee and custom drinks all day. There are also fresh made pastries, sandwiches, pizzas, salads and more. You can even grab ready to go cocktails, beer and wine. Next door is the largest restaurant at the hotel, simply called The Kitchen. They serve a variety of new American cuisine and comfort food with a rock and roll attitude. The kitchen's walls are adorned with culinary themed memorabilia from the Hard Rock Hotel's many celebrity guests. And located just a short walking distance away at Universal Orlando City Walk is the world's largest Hard Rock Cafe. With towering statuesque pillars, the majestic Coliseum of Rock boasts more pieces of rock and roll memorabilia than any other location, offering quality classic American food in a unique high energy music memorabilia packed atmosphere. There is just one more dining option back at the Hard Rock Hotel, which is located near the pool and is called the Beach Club. This bar and grill offers both a restaurant and poolside service, featuring frozen cocktails, fountain drinks, appetizers and more that can be ordered and enjoyed right from your lounge chair. Moving on to the amazing activities that are on offer at the Hard Rock Hotel, one of the features is the beautiful palm lined pool that includes a water slide, hot tubs and a real sand beach and volleyball court. The best bit, it also has an underwater sound system so you'll be able to rock out to the beat at all times. For a true VIP experience, you'll be able to rent a private cabana that comes with lots of extras so you can maintain your diva lifestyle. The Body Rock Fitness Center features the latest in cardio fitness and circuit training equipment with steam and sauna rooms and locker facilities. You will also be able to have access to the luxurious Mandara Spa at the neighboring Lowe's Portofino Bay Hotel that offers lots of relaxing and refreshing treatments. Younger guests will also be able to rock out at the hotel's game room located next to the pool, featuring the latest video games and some of the classics. No Hard Rock Hotel would be deserving of the title without live music. And don't worry, there will be plenty for you to listen to, including the award-winning Velvet Sessions, a monthly event where you can check out an up-close and personal rock concert while enjoying some finger foods and fun cocktails. All the rooms come with a nice blend of comfort and style. Garden view rooms have the added appeal of stunning scenery just outside your window. Or you can upgrade to a pool view that overlooks the centerpiece of the hotel, the incredible swimming pool area. 
They also offer deluxe rooms which are oversized for maximum comfort and include a pull-out sofa. Similar to the other premier hotels, Club Level is also available where you will have exclusive access to the Rock Royalty Lounge, offering a free continental breakfast and drinks in the evening. For ultimate rock and roll luxury, you can choose one of the amazing suites that are specially designed to deliver all your wants and needs, whether that means a spacious bedroom, additional kids room, living space, kitchenette, or even a baby grand piano. The hotel also offers a program called The Sound of Your Stay. This will allow you to bring the music to the comfort of your own hotel room. You can stream a celebrity curated playlist, borrow a Crosley turntable with 10 iconic vinyls, or choose from a menu of different Fender guitars and bass guitars and rock out in your hotel room. Just contact the front desk to arrange this service absolutely free of charge. Just like the previous two hotels, you'll be able to host a wedding, party or a meeting at the many different ballrooms and meeting spaces dotted around the resort. And even with a short walk to Universal Studios, Islands of Adventure and City Walk, you will still have the option of taking the complimentary water taxi straight to the gates of the park. There is also a bus service that will take you to Volcano Bay and the other parks. This resort is perfect for music fanatics, but even non-rock fans will enjoy this fun and exciting resort. We now move on to the final and most luxurious hotel in the Universal Orlando Resort, Lowe's Portofino Bay Hotel. This is of course based on the picturesque seaside village of Portofino in Italy. All the theming down to the harbour, restaurants and even the rooms perfectly emulate the idyllic setting of the popular Italian commune. This begins with the incredible lobby area that includes a beautiful indoor courtyard with a stunning water fountain and even an indoor street that resembles a back street of Portofino at night time. This is where you'll find La Memories de Portofino, a gift shop selling Mediterranean style souvenirs, sunglasses, wine glasses and plenty of exclusive Portofino Bay merchandise. Back in the lobby area, you'll be able to find Bar American, the lobby bar serving appetizers alongside a wide array of beer, wine, champagne, cocktails and more. Around this resort, you'll find plenty of dining options, most of which are located in the Harbour Piazza. The award-winning Mama Deli's Ristorante specializes in authentic Italian cooking with a variety of pasta and seafood entrees and of course a nice selection of wine. The more elegant Bice Ristorante also offers homemade pasta and seafood dishes along with amazing steaks and some of the best desserts on Universal property. For a more casual, family-friendly, full-service restaurant, you can try Trattore del Porto, where you can choose to dine indoors or outside overlooking the picturesque bay. They serve soups, salads and sandwiches along with the chef specials of steak, salmon or roasted chicken. If you're looking for quick service then you should try the authentic Italian cafe Sal's Market Deli featuring sensational Italian sandwiches, antipasto, fresh fruit, salads and brick oven pizzas. Next door is Gelateria where you can enjoy some artisan gelato, delicious milkshakes, smoothies, biscotti along with specialty coffee and espresso. And for more coffee options you can head to the on-site Starbucks location which also serves the usual menu of pastries and sandwiches. The Thirsty Fish is the best place to watch the sunset over the harbour as this casual waterfront bar offers champagne, beer, wine and cocktail menus as well as cigars and small appetizers. The final dining location is Splendido Bar and Grill which is poolside at the Beach Pool, the largest of the three pools at the hotel. They serve great appetizers, burgers, sandwiches and salads as well as a huge selection of cocktails, beers, wines and non-alcoholic beverages. As I just mentioned, this hotel has three pools. The beach pool is the ideal place for the family to spend the day together. This lively pool area features a Roman aqueduct themed water slide, a sandy beach, adjacent children's pools, two jacuzzis and three colourful beach cabanas. For a bit more exclusivity, the serene villa pool offers additional amenities including private cabana rentals and upgraded lounge chairs. And the third swimming pool, the hillside pool on the hotel's east wing offers a bit more privacy for a quiet place to relax by the water. 
Other features of the resort include the Mandara Spa that offer calming spa treatments customized to fit your needs. This also has a complimentary fitness center and exclusive steam and sauna facilities. You can also blast and zap your way through the latest video games in the hotel's game room located near the beach pool. Even with the amazing restaurants and hotel facilities, the main charm of this resort is the setting. You can get lost along the many cobblestone paths and piazzas, with the main highlight being the Harbour Piazza, where you'll find Italian sports cars and Vespers parked by the port, and a variety of fishing boats anchored in the bay. Each evening at sunset, the Harbour Piazza comes to life with a showcase of classic opera and popera favourites sung by talented performers. And on select evenings, the Harbour hosts a special dining event with live music and traditional opera while you sip wine and sample gourmet fare. Along with the previously mentioned La Memories di Portofino, other shopping locations include Lancora that has a wide variety of swimwear, accessories and universal merchandise. Alta Moda is a boutique clothing shop that features the latest in resort fashion for the whole family. Finally, the Universal Studios store has all the classic tees, hats, plush toys and many other amazing Universal souvenirs. You can choose a standard room with a garden view, bay view or a deluxe room that has a little extra space for your comfort. They are all beautifully designed with custom built furnishings and marble accents in an elegant European style. As with the other premier hotels, there is also a selection of club level rooms and out of this world suites that along with more space and added amenities, you'll also get a personal concierge service and exclusive access to the Portofino Club Lounge, offering all the usual perks. The hotel is also able to host weddings, parties or meetings where you can expect an exceptional experience surrounded by unparalleled beauty, elegance and romance of the Italian Riviera. If you want the finest rooms, service and facilities, then Lowe's Portofino Bay Hotel is the best choice for you. Before we compare prices for all the hotels, take a look at my affiliate links for undercover tourists and if you're traveling from the UK, Virgin Holidays. They are both offering amazing deals and packages for all the Universal Orlando hotels and tickets. Check the affiliate links below to see how much you could save on your next Universal vacation. So here are all the average costs for a one night stay at the hotels. Remember that they all offer early entry hours to the park and the premier hotels have that amazing added benefit of the express passes, which has a rough value of $100 a day per person. Most of the footage in today's video was filmed by the amazing Demi from the Magical Hijinks YouTube channel. Check her channel out in the description box below and take a look at her playlist of full detailed tours of the rooms and resorts in the link down below. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful in any way, hitting that like button would really help me out. And if this is the second or third Disney Parks Addict video that you have watched, then please consider subscribing. It would mean a lot. If you want to know more about the attractions at Universal Orlando then check out this video here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Disney Parks Addict.